The latter approach developed by Neville Goddard will assist you in testing manifestation and the law of assumption for yourself. The latter technique, or latter experiment, was developed by Neville Goddard to demonstrate that imagination produces reality. Anyone who wishes to know if Neville Goddard's manifestation techniques work can do this activity. In this video, Tool describe how to use the latter approach first, followed by why the latter experiment exists and where Neville shares it. So, do stay till the end of this video because you'll realize how powerful you are, and if you're new to this YouTube channel or haven't subscribed to it yet, please do so by clicking the red subscribe button below this video and pressing the bell icon so you don't miss any updates from our YouTube channel. So without further ado here are the precise steps for attempting the ladder approach. How to perform Neville Goddard ladder technique, step by step. Step 1, sit comfortably or lie down and close your eyes. Step 2, in your imagination, picture a ladder right before you. Step 3, take your imaginary left hand, reach out, and take hold of the side of the ladder. Step 4, now, take the other side of the ladder with your imaginary right hand. Step 5, now, with the imaginary left foot, place it on the ladder's first rung. Step 6, now, push yourself up and climb the ladder to the top. Feel each step you take in your imagination. Step 7, climb back down when you reach the top. Step 8, repeat this in your imagination. When you reach back down, climb back up. Step 9, once you feel like your imagination is so real, you can stop. Step 10, now, write on a paper, I will not climb the ladder. Place this inside your wallet. Write this sentence on your mirror. Read it every time you see it. Step 11, you must do this and mean in your heart that you will not climb the ladder. This is important. Step 12, repeat the climbing the ladder exercise in your imagination for three nights, right before you sleep every day. Step 13, sleep a different way to take longer for your sleep. For example, sleep on your right side if you usually lay on your left side. You need to repeat the climbing ladder exercise in your imagination as you sleep. That's it. Neville claims that if you successfully impress your subconscious mind following this practice, you will be able to ascend the ladder within a week. What exactly is the purpose of the ladder experiment? Neville Goddard taught his pupils the ladder technique, often known as the ladder experiment, to demonstrate that his teachings were effective. He sought to demonstrate to his pupils, via their own studies, that what you picture and imprint on your subconscious mind is more powerful than what you tell yourself consciously. And that you may use the same powerful imagination to make any wish come true. What was the significance of Neville Goddard's inclusion of, I shall not climb the ladder, in this technique? Reading, I will not climb the ladder, is an integral part of this technique. Neville Goddard wanted you to know that reading with your conscious mind isn't as powerful as what you imagine and impresses with your subconscious mind. This is why he told us to imagine the scene as we sleep. The moment before you sleep and the time after you wake up, we're drowsy, and it is easier to impress our subconscious mind during those moments. There's also one other thing. When you actively tell yourself, I will not climb the ladder, you imagine yourself climbing the ladder. This is similar to the pink elephant experiment where you're told not to think about a pink elephant for a minute. But the very act of avoiding a thought makes it stronger. What is the origin of the Neville Goddard ladder technique? The Neville Goddard ladder technique doesn't appear in any of his published lectures. It is shared by one of his students who attended his lecture. There are different techniques that Neville Goddard has shared to help with manifesting your desires. The latter technique is different because it isn't a technique to manifest a specific desire. It is an exercise in building your skill to imagine scenes in vivid detail. When you imagine yourself climbing up the ladder, you can practice feeling every detail to the point where you cannot distinguish between reality and imagination. This is the ultimate skill that you can develop. The exercise of imagining the scene before you sleep is also the basis of another Neville Goddard technique known as state akin to sleep, SATS. Once you've succeeded in the latter experiment, you can replace the scene with something that would happen after your desire is fulfilled. And what you imagined will come to pass. How long to practice the latter experiment? Neville asks us to practice for three days. In many of Neville Goddard's lectures, he has mentioned that three is a symbol for completion. So rather than thinking of it as literal three days, 
Think of it as the number of times you need to imagine the latter scene where you cannot distinguish it from reality. What if the ladder experiment doesn't work for me? If the Neville Goddard ladder experiment isn't working for you, don't panic. It can be hard to focus your attention on one thing if you're new to visualization. The ladder technique as explained by Neville Goddard only works if you can impress your subconscious mind. So answer these questions. Can you imagine climbing the ladder and feel it as though you're climbing in reality? Are you imagining just before you're sleeping? Are you reading, I will not climb the ladder, during the day? If you're doing all these correctly and you're still not able to manifest climbing a ladder, then it's probably because you have forgotten how to imagine. Don't worry. As humans, we all can imagine. But it can become dormant without use. So start imagining every day and let your imagination run wild. So what is the craziest thing you have ever imagined? You may experience it and then come back to this technique. You can also try other Neville Goddard techniques like the SATS technique that focus on feeling rather than visualization. So that's it for today's video, I hope you found it useful in your manifestation journey, if you have any questions or want to share your thoughts on it, please leave a comment below the video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.